What are custom sign-up fields? What do they mean? And how do you do it in the Thinkific platform? It's exactly what I'm going to show you now. Now, custom sign-up fields basically mean what information do you want to collect from your students when they sign up to your online school? Now, I would encourage you to keep this as limited as possible unless you have legal reasons to collect more information than you need. By default, whenever somebody signs up to your Thinkific school, whether it's for a free course, a paid course, anything, they have to be able to sign up to your school first before they can access any of your content, which is great because it means you're collecting their email addresses. So those default fields are their name and their email address. That's it. That's the default fields of data that you collect when somebody signs up to your Thinkific school. Now, you can collect any other fields of information you want. Maybe instead of just their name and their email address, you would like a field of data for their phone number, their address. Maybe you need to know what color hair they have. Maybe you need to know what size t-shirt they wear. I don't know, these are all just things that, depending on your industry, depending what your course is about, it might be information you want to collect upfront. Now, I say be careful with collecting data upfront because people are already very wary about giving out just their name and email. So if you start asking for all these crazy things, like, you know, how many kids do you have? How old are they? What town do you live in? And all these kinds of things. People are gonna get, get very, very nervous very, very fast. People do not like giving their information over. So you are going to be creating a barrier to people joining your school and signing up to your programs uh, for every field that you add, which is why I personally suggest, unless I said there's a legal reason otherwise, that you only collect their email and um, name at the beginning literally leave it at the default settings then if there's further information you do need once they're inside a course ask for that information once they're inside the course so one of the things I actually do because I do need to collect uh, you know uh, address information for some of my programs um, I actually just take their name and email address for, at the sign up stage and then one of the first lessons inside the course I've actually put a Google form inside the lesson that says if you would like me to send you X, Y and Z as part of this program please put your email or sorry, your full uh, address here and, and then through that Google form I collect that extra information that I either need for my business or I need for the program to run and so on that way I'm not causing any barriers to entry at the beginning but of course your business is your business you get to make the decisions here and if you want and need upfront custom information before they even sign into your school go for it that's your free choice and the great thing about Thinkific is it allows you to have that free choice and to customize those fields so a custom field basically is a, a, a box of information that you request from people so for example if I want to add a new custom field I simply press add a field um, and what is the field name so this will be what shows up on the sign up page when people are signing up to your school so for instance let's pretend you want to collect people's phone number pop in phone number what type of field is it um, so you only have the option for text or a country at the moment so text just means that they can put in text in the box all right um, now um, it, you can decide whether it's required information or not required information that's for you to decide so you can press save uh, let's pretend I wanted to know what country they're in so this can be handy for instance uh, for tax purposes if you know what country they're coming from it helps you with your tax reporting so you might put country um, and obviously then select country. Um, and then what this will do is uh, give them a drop down box to basically choose from. So you might choose to make that required or not, press save or not save. And of course, if you want to remove them, just press delete. So what that will do is it will force people to enter that information when they sign up to their school. So as I said, think very carefully about whether you have to do that upfront, which could potentially scare people away from signing up at all, um, or whether that's information that you can collect later on once they're inside and now part of your List. So if you are planning on adding custom fields, uh, drop down what you want your custom fields to be.